I'm not getting the coconuts at all, really. It's like they forgot to put them in this particular batch or something. be going down people of the world my name is redbeard and you're watching another daily drink vlog thank you so much for joining me for the beer of the today we've got another beer that was gifted to me by the awesome individual known as dan aka booze games deep thoughts on the youtubes this is a can of crushed by coconuts it's a chocolate coconut stout by the new level brewing company out of calgary alberta coming in at 6.2 percent abv yes um New Level, I've liked uh, most of the things I think I've had by them. I've had a, about three or four beers now. Krampus beer was the only thing that really didn't work for me whatsoever. But something else didn't work for me, really. I can't remember if it was, it was, if it was from New Level, though. I don't care, regardless. Crack it open. Let's see what we've got. Yeah, the couple. I still have the... Uh, a headbanger's breakfast, I think it's called, by these guys. That's going to be potentially duo, trio, or even potentially quad reviewed between me and Chris and I think Nick, potentially, if I remember correctly. This looks kind of great. Nice couple fingers of not super dark, but definitely, you know, brown chocolate-ish looking head. Nice, deep, dark color to the beer itself. And light, I'm seeing already a bit bleeding through, so I'm going to say... Yes, and uh, not really making it through the thicker part of the glass, but regardless, it looks quite nice. Let's get a nose. Wow. That is a lot of chocolate on the aroma. Chocolate, maybe some coffee, some roasty malt character. I'm really not getting much coconut off the flavor, off the uh, smell. God damn it. I know words. Yeah, roasty, like dark chocolate smell. It smells nice. Let's give her a shot. Wow. There's a crap ton of chocolate in that beer. Really? I don't know if that's just me, but I'm not getting any hint of coconuts anywhere. Let's get into this and see if that changes. Cheers, everybody. And, of course, so many freaking cheers to Dan. Dan the man. Maybe, like, a lingering essence of, like, almost tastes like artificial coconut. The chocolate level in this beer is off the hook, though. Kind of incredible. Uh, water, yeast, barley, malt. Sorry, water, yeast, barley, wheat, oats, hops, lactose, coconut, and cocoa nibs. So coconuts are apparently in here somewhere. Uh, no date, but I think Dan bought all the stuff at the brewery. I'm not going to bitch about that. It's pretty fresh, I do believe. I, I don't know though. I really like it. I just I'm not getting the coconuts at all really. It's like they forgot to put them in this particular batch or something. I was expecting like crushed by coconuts. It sounds like it's gonna be a really, really in your face coconut flavor beer. Which I've only ever had a couple of, and they're damn tasty when they're done well. This is just more of a, like, double or even triple chocolate stout. Like, I would put the chocolate flavor level in this up against, like, a Chocolate Manifesto from Flying Monkeys. The only other really kind of chocolate-heavy stout that is coming to mind. That's very tasty. Newlevelbrewing.ca will bring you to newlevelbrewing.ca. And if you go to the website and forget to do this before you load it up, then yeah, good times. 18. Drinking age is actually 19 here in uh, Ontario. Yes, sir. 
kind of fancy out in Alberta. It's, it's 18 as well in Quebec. It's odd that that's not like a... I believe, like, uh, driving licenses? The age is 16 to get your uh, learner's permit across the board in the country, as far as I know. But, for whatever reason, the legal drinking age is different. And I feel like the... Like, vehicle licenses are still mandated by the uh, provincial government, as far as I know. Like the MTO, the Ministry of Transportation of Ontario. I don't know what I'm talking about. For all I know, the licensing could be different in other provinces. I just, I've never heard of that. I've always heard of different drinking ages being a thing, but never different license ages. Let me know in the comments if you know more than I do, because wouldn't be surprising. Beer's really good. Gonna sit down and enjoy it. Now I'll be back. Very enjoyable stout, but terrible, terrible name as far as my taste is concerned. Completely warmed up now. Still just chocolate and roasty malt. It's delicious. It's really nice, but I'm getting again just maybe like the most the faintest little hint that a coconut might have been present and watched the brewing process, kind of thing. Kind of odd. Uh, I didn't say before, but uh, if you go to Booze Games and Deep Thoughts on YouTube, you'll find Dan's channel. Link will be in the description down below to that channel. And rating-wise, this beer is a 3.69 out of 5 on Untapped with 128 ratings overall. So this is relatively new, I feel like. A few of the other new level ones I had had a fair number more ratings than that. A little bit left. A little bit left. That some kind of spilled there. Damn it. Damn it. Make the last... New level brewing, crushed by coconuts. Apparently it's a chocolate coconut stout. I'm gonna go seven. I don't know, I like it a lot, but just the whole complete lack of coconut on my palate, bit of a letdown, to be honest. So that's where I'm gonna leave that. If you have got your hands on this beer at some point in time and have had it, let me know down in the comments what you thought, because this video is done. If you liked it, smash the thumbs up button in the face. If you want to see more, subscribe, bell notification, blah, 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 blah. I'll be back with something like this tomorrow. Peace out.